Hello and welcome to this video of geometric progression problems 21 to 30. In last video we solved problem number 11 to 20. In this video we will solve next 10 questions. Now sometimes there are problems where product of uh, numbers in GP are involved. So there can be many cases, for example, there can be product of three numbers. In that case, you should pick them as A by R, A and A R. But if the product is not given, then you should take them as A, A R and A R square. Similarly, if there are four numbers given in a GP, then you should pick the numbers as A by R cube, A by R, A R and A R cube. What if there are uh, five numbers? Then you should pick them as a by r square, a by r, a, a r, a r, and a r square. So similarly, you can extrapolate if there are six numbers. Now let's proceed uh, on to problems. Twenty-first problem says that if the product of three numbers in GP be two hundred sixteen. And their sum is 19, find the numbers. As always, do not look at the solution immediately. You should pause the video and try to solve this yourself. So let's solve this one. Since the product is given, we choose the numbers as A by R, A and A R. The reason of choosing such numbers is that we want to eliminate R in the product. So given the product is 216, the product of these three will be A cubed. So a cube is equal to 216, which gives us a as 6. Now we are given that sum of these numbers is 19, which gives us 6 by r plus 6 plus 6r is equal to 19. Then we solve the equation and we end up getting a quadratic equation 6r square minus 13r plus 6 is equal to 0 which eventually leads us to r is equal to 2 by 3 and 3 by 2. Now when r is equal to 2 by 3, the numbers would be 9, 6 and 4. Upon substituting the value of r and a in the numbers, and if r is 3 by 2, then the numbers are 4, 6 and 9. Problem number 22 says that a number consists of three digits in GP. The sum of the right hand and left hand digits exceed twice the middle digit by 1. And sum of left hand and middle digit is two third of the sum of the middle and right hand digits. Find the number. So in this case, product is not involved. So we choose the three digits to be A, AR and AR square. Now we are given that uh, from the first condition, the sum of first and last digit, that is a plus a r square, is equal to twice of middle term, that is 2 a r, and it exceeds that by 1. So we add plus 1 to it for equality. Upon, now we take 2 a r to the left, which gives us a multiplied with r minus 1 whole square is equal to 1. Now from the second condition, that the sum of first two uh, first two digits is two third of last two digits. It gives us a plus a r is equal to two by three a r plus a r square. So we rearrange and we get three a into one plus r is equal to two a r into one plus r. Now we take all of it on one side after cancelling a, and we get one plus r into three minus two r as is equal to zero. This gives us r is equal to 3 by 2 and minus 1. Now we can't have minus 1, which will make a as 1 by 4. So we will have r is equal to 3 by 2. In this case, a becomes 1 by r minus 1 whole square is equal to 1 by 3 by 2 minus 1 whole square is equal to 4. Now if a is 4 and r is 3 by 2, the other two numbers are 6 and 9. So the number is 469. Problem number 23 says that in a set of four numbers, the first three digits, the first three are in a GP. 
and the last three are in AP with a common difference of six. If the first number is same as fourth, find the four numbers. So we choose the last three numbers as B, B plus six, and B plus twelve, and the first number as A. Now we are given that the first and fourth number is equal, so A is equal to B plus twelve. Now, from uh, the formula for GP, we take three numbers A, B, and B plus six. So B square will be equal to A into B plus six, which gives us uh, B square is equal to B plus twelve into B plus six by substituting the value of A. Now this gives us eighteen B plus seventy two is equal to zero. That is B is equal to minus four. Now if B is equal to minus four, then A is eight. So the numbers will be eight minus four, two comma eight. Problem number twenty-four says that the sum of three numbers in GP is twelve, and the sum of their squares is one hundred eighty-nine. Find the numbers. We let the numbers as uh, a, a r, and a r square, where a is the first term and r is the common ratio. Now it is given that the sum of these three is twenty-one, so we get a into one plus r plus r square is equal to twenty-one. Now it is also given that the sum of squares is one hundred eighty-nine, so we end up getting a square multiplied with one plus r square plus r to the power four is equal to one eighty-nine. So now we have two equations here and here. Now what we do is we square this so that we get a square outside. And then we divide, so that a square gets cancelled. So the numerator here is one plus r plus r square whole square, and denominator is one plus r square plus r four is equal to four hundred forty one by one hundred eighty nine, which is equal to seven by three. Now what we do here is we add r square and we also subtract from r square. So what we get here is one plus r square whole square minus r square in denominator. Now uh, we rationalize this, and we cancel out one plus r plus r square from numerator and denominator. So we end up getting the quadratic equation two r square minus five r plus two is equal to zero. This gives us r is equal to two and half. Now when r is two and a is three, uh, sorry, when r is two, then a is three because. We substitute here two to the four plus two six plus one seven. So seven a is equal to twenty one. That is a is equal to three. When r is equal to half, it will be one by four plus one by two. That is three by four plus one. That is seven by four. So that will be seven three that twenty one and three four that twelve. So a will be twelve. So the numbers so will be either three six and twelve or twelve six and three. Problem number twenty-five says that the product of three conjugative terms of a GP is minus sixty-four, and the first term is four times the third. Find the terms. We are given that the product is minus sixty-four, so we take the numbers as suggested as a by r into a into a r. That is a cube is equal to minus sixty-four, which gives us a is equal to minus four. Now it is also given that the first term is four times the last term. That is, a by r is equal to four into a r, which gives us r square is equal to one by four. That is, r is equal to plus minus one by two. So when r r is equal to half and a is minus four, the numbers will be minus eight, four, and minus two. And when r is equal to minus half, numbers will be eight, minus four, and two. Problem number twenty-six says that. Three numbers whose sum is fifteen are in AP. If one, four, and nineteen be added to them respectively, the resulting numbers are in GP. Find the numbers. So we let the numbers in AP as a minus d comma a comma a plus d as written here, where a is the first term and d is the common difference. Now we add them to get three a is equal to fifteen. That is a is equal to five. Now we know that. After adding one, four, and nineteen, the numbers are in GP. So the middle term square, that is a plus four whole square, is equal to a minus d, that is first term plus one, and then a plus d plus nineteen, that is the third term plus nineteen. 
now we solve this uh, to get the value of d here as minus 1 and 23 when d is 3 the numbers are 2 5 and 8 and when d is minus 21 numbers are 26 5 and minus 16 Problem number 27 says that from three numbers in GP, other three numbers in GP are subtracted. Resulting numbers are found to be in GP again. Prove that the three sequences have the same common ratio. So we take A and X to be the first term and R and Y be the common ratio of the first two GPs. So we are given that uh, the difference is also in GP. So AR minus XY whole square is equal to A minus X into AR square minus XY whole square. Now we solve this to get AX into R square plus Y square minus 2RY is equal to 0. Now A and X cannot be 0 because if A and X are 0 then everything will become 0. So this must be 0 in what is inside the brackets. And inside bracket, we have r minus y whole square is equal to 0. Therefore, r is equal to y. So, the common ratio will be r as shown here. Or rather, you don't even need to co compute this. It says that r is equal to y. The, this is the common ratio of the third GP actually after subtraction. So, that also is r. Problem number 28 says that if A, B, C, D are in GP, show that uh, B minus C whole square plus C minus A whole square plus D minus B whole square is equal to A minus D whole square. So we take R as the common ratio of the GP, then B is AR, C is AR square, D is equal to AR cube. So we substitute the values of B, C and D in the left hand side and we solve this to get the desired result. You can follow the computation. It, I'm just lazy to read it. Problem number 29 says that if A, B, C, D are in GP, then show that A square plus B square plus C square multiplied with B square plus C square plus D square is equal to A, D plus B, C plus C, D whole square. Now, like last problem, we take R as the common ratio. So, A, B, C, D are in GP, which gives us B is equal to AR, C is equal to AR square, D is equal to AR cube. Now we substitute this for left hand side. So we get A square plus A square R square plus A square R to the power 4 for A square plus B square plus C square. And for B square plus C square plus D square, we get A square R square plus A square R to the power 4 plus A square R to the power 6. Now we take out A square common from the first term. So what is inside parenthesis is 1 plus r square plus r to the power 4 and from the second uh, term inside parenthesis we take out a square r square common so we get uh, inside the parenthesis 1 plus r square plus r to the power 4 now this is nothing but a square r multiplied with 1 plus r square plus r to the power 4 whole square now we take a square r inside so we get A into AR plus AR into AR square plus AR square AR cube whole square, which is nothing but AB plus BC plus CD whole square, which is our right hand side. Now we move on to the last problem of this presentation, that is 30th problem. If A to the power X is equal to B to the power Y is equal to C to the power Z, it is uh, not 2, it is Z. Where X, Y, Z are in GP, show that log b of a is equal to log log a of with base b is equal to log of b with base c uh, i'll correct this mistake to a z in the slide which you can refer to on github you can download it from there so we are given that a to the power x is equal to b to the power y is equal to c to the power z oh also here also it's a copy paste problem c to the power z is equal to k. Now we take log, so we get x log a is equal to y log b is equal to z log c is equal to log k. So there is another mistype here, there shouldn't be an e. So therefore we can say that uh, log k by log a, we divide 
here this log k goes below log a so we have x is equal to log k by log a and y is log k by log b from here y log b and is equal to log k we find y is equal to log k by log b and similarly z is equal to log k by log c now y by x is equal to z by y which gives us log k by b log b and log multiply with log a by log k is equal to log k log b by log c log k now we cancel out log k and we get log b by log a is equal to log c by log b which is nothing but log of a with base b is equal to log of b with base c so with this we come to the end of problem number 21 to 30 and in the next video we will solve 10 more problems on geometric progression i'm sorry for this mistake about c square where it should be c to the bar z and e i'll fix these and push this in github so you can download this slide from there if you have found this video informative and useful please uh, don't forget to subscribe it motivates me to make more videos thanks a lot for watching happy solving the problems